five people around the world lacks access to clean water. It turns out that for the past three months, some amazingly determined runners have been carrying that very message on foot, mile by mile, around the world. ABC's Mike Saray has been tracking them. Mary Shervinak's excellent summer adventure started just before Memorial Day at the United Nations. Oh, I had so much adrenaline pumping through my system, my legs were shaking. She and 20 other runners from 13 countries put their jobs and families on hold to run around the world, 15,000 miles, to raise awareness and money for the global water crisis. What keeps you going? All those people that die every day. Lack of clean water kills more people around the world than AIDS. Nearly two million children die each year from diarrhea alone. From New York, the runners headed to Boston, then through Ireland, Britain, France, Belgium, and the Netherlands, each running 10 miles a day. Beautiful day, though, isn't it? 60-year-old Lansing Brewer is an ultramarathoner, but he never imagined how grueling running a 24-7 relay would be. Just two more continents to go. On the 4th of July, they cross from Europe into Asia. I need a ride! By now, they were definitely feeling the effects of the constant running. I tripped and I fell flat on my face. Well, if it's Wednesday, it must be Lake Baikal in Siberia. That's where we are, the largest source of fresh water on the planet. 20% of all the fresh water on Earth is right out here in this lake. It was a revelation to Emmanuel Kibbet, a professional Ooh, marathoner from Kenya, who grew up in a family of nine without access to clean water. About halfway through the journey, they next faced the barren high desert of Mongolia. They run day and night, battling the traffic through major cities, the desolation of desert crossings, and the effects of bad food and water, oh my God. which sidelined a quarter of the team in China. But it wasn't all hardship. Very happy news. Japan's Taiko Taruchi and Canada's Jason Lutet started dating in France, got engaged in Russia, <laughs> and married while running past Niagara Falls. Yeah. Truly long-distance love affair. Bye -bye. Bye. The runners are now in the home stretch. They've made it across the United States. Their excellent and very tiring adventure ends Tuesday back where they started in New York. This is Mike Saray for ABC News. And that does it for World News on this Sunday. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, a live interview with Democratic presidential candidate John Edwards on the campaign trail. Five people around the world lacks access to clean water. It turns out that for the past three months, some amazingly determined runners have been carrying that very message on foot, mile by mile, around the world. ABC's Mike Saray has been tracking them. Mary Shervinak's excellent summer adventure started just before Memorial Day at the United Nations. Oh, I had so much adrenaline pumping through my system, my legs were shaking. She and 20.